guys welcome back to my channel it's Jody here thank you so much for clicking on another video if you're new welcome to the fam bam if you're not new thank you so much for coming back so this is a soft natural glam look on my client here my client is actually my cousin she was headed out and I decided to do her makeup and film it so I started off by moisturizing her face with the Ember Elise uh, moisturizer and then I went in with the Tatcha silk canvas primer now this is a very nice primer it it, uh, it minimizes the look of pores and I went into her t-zone with this primer I just wanted to make sure that her skin was nicely hydrated and primed for foundation all right so I'm just putting this here in her t-zone area on her forehead under her eyes over her uh, lips and her nose I now went in with the NYX Eyebrow Gel in the color Espresso. Um, I like this color because it's not too dark, nor is it too light. It just gives the brows a nice natural appearance. Alright, um, I'm going to go in and brush through the brows just to make sure that all the hairs are facing the same direction and that they are somewhat in place. I'm now going to go in using that NYX Eyebrow Gel to fill in her brows. Now she doesn't like them too thick so I just mainly followed the um, outline of her brows and made them look you know a little bit more uh, symmetric. Now um, I only did one brow off camera. I'm a little bit of a perfectionist when it comes to brows. I like to make sure that my brows um, pretty much look the same. I know they say that brows are sisters not twins but I treat them like twins and I want to make sure they look exactly the same. Um, now this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Fawn. Um, this is a nice color uh, for her skin tone. It's not too light and it's not too dark. It just gives cleans up the brows very nicely and gives it a nice naturally uh, cleaned up look. All right. As I mentioned, I did go ahead and only do one brow off camera because it does take me some time and I didn't want to have you sit here watching me just clean up brows throughout this video all right so I'm putting that uh, concealer and cleaning up the brows and I'm just blending that out just so that there are no harsh lines and you can't see that concealer all right I'm also gonna go in with that LA girl pro conceal in fawn as a eyelid base to prep her eyes for makeup so right here I'm just uh, going back over the brow just to make sure that you know it is to my liking um, and blend that out. So I'm going to go in as I mentioned with the concealer and fawn to base her lids to get ready for eyeshadow. I'm just using my Real Techniques brush to go ahead and blend that on her lid just to make sure that it is nice and even. I'm not sure if you can hear guys but it is raining and I hope it, you guys are not able to hear that but while I was rec uh, doing this voiceover it started to rain and hey I can't help that right so I'm now gonna go in with the Anastasia clear brow gel now I love this thing so much once you put this on your your brows your brows will not budge until you are ready to take it off all right so I'll use that to set her brows in place I'm now going to go grab the Warrior by Juvia's palette. This is a beautiful neutral palette. Um, I like this for my more natural looks. I'm going to go in with that light brown color there. Um, I do not remember the name of that color, but that's the color I used. And I just went ahead and I buffed this in the crease just to, you know, start her transition color. All right, so that the next color that I put down will blend a lot easier into that color. Alright, so I'm just buffing this all over the, her lid with a, with a Morphe blending brush. Blend, blend, blend. That's the key to having your eyeshadows look good. Blend, blend, blend. Now if you like, if you're liking what you're seeing so far, don't forget to like the video comment share and subscribe I would really love to get your feedback and your comments let me know uh, what you think about my videos 
and um, you know any videos that you would like to see going in the future so I'm gonna take that dark brown color and this is where I decided that I was gonna give her um, what we call a halo eye so what that means is you know the the color are on both ends of her eyes and then a lighter color in the middle so um, I'm using that darker color to frame essentially her her eyelid and then you know I'm gonna go in and put a lighter color in the center so I'm just buffing that in the outer V there and I'm gonna go in and put it in the inner corner of her eye and connect that um, in the middle there all right just blending that out as I go along Still blending guys, still blending. I'm a stickler for blending so I try to make sure that all my eye, eye looks are blended out as best as possible. Alright, now I'm going to go back in with that uh, concealer and fawn to uh, base where I'm going to put the lighter color. It's just going to make the color stand out a little bit more and, see, and, and appear more vibrant. Alright, so I'm just blending that in just to make sure that there are no harsh lines and then I'm gonna go back with the dark color and I'm just going to soften those harsh lines made by the concealer there Alright, I'm then going to go back into the uh, Juvia's Place palette and I'm going to grab that gold color I'll show you in just a second. Right there, smack dab in the middle and I'm just putting this in the middle of her eye. Eyelid, that is. <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to go on the outer edge of that with a slightly darker color just for you know a little bit of pizzazz I mean it really it really didn't show up or didn't do anything for the look but it is what it is <laughs> all right so I'm just blending that making sure that that dark brown color and the uh, gold champagne color um, is fused and blended nicely just so that it looks nice and soft because this is a soft natural glam look all right we don't want any harsh lines I just keep going back and forth just to make sure everything is pretty well blended and to my liking before I move on and I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Inglot liner in the color number 77 now this is my most favorite liner and I'm just gonna use this and line her eyes now initially I wasn't gonna give her a wing but then I just decided to give her just a little bit of a baby wing so um, yeah I went ahead and I'm, I'm lining her her lids and especially because she's not wearing any lashes I just wanted her lash line to look a little bit more full all right when I put that mascara on So this is my uh, Ben Nye uh, foundation palette. 
um, I'm just testing a couple colors on her skin tone obviously that one was a little bit too light so I went in with another color just to test it to make sure and that one is the one I went with that's the one I use and it blended beautifully in her um, skin tone now I don't remember the color the, the name of it now these foundations do not have names uh, they only have numbers and I don't remember the name of it so if I can find the name of it or the number of this foundation color I'll go ahead and put it in the description box below alright so this is a cream foundation I'm not a fan of liquid foundations in my kit one it's, it's a little bit too bulky and two cream foundation usually looks a little bit more natural and I end up using a lot less because the cream foundation is so much more of um, full and better coverage so I tend to stick with cream foundations all right so again this is the Ben 9 olive brown palette that I pulled out and I'm, as I mentioned before I'm going in with the LA girl pro concealing fawn to go ahead and highlight her um, again I like this color because as you can see it is not too light and it's not too dark it will give her a nice natural highlight um, in her highlighted areas so I'm just using my beauty blender to blend that in under her eyes and everywhere I put that concealer I also did a little bit of reverse contouring by putting that concealer at the sides of her jaw that's just gonna make her jaw and cheekbone stand out a little bit more all right it uh now I go in with the bed now luxury powder in the color topaz I'm also going to use this to set her under eye area um, I like this color again it's not too light it will give just a nice natural highlight under her eyes um, not making it look too dramatic as I mentioned she just wanted a simple uh, look as she was just going out to hang out with friends and she didn't want it she didn't want to be too over overdone all right I also went in with just a little bit of the Sasha buttercup powder under her eyes as well just to bring that area out a little bit more So I didn't necessarily let that bake, it just it was just under her eyes for about 30 seconds and then I went over her or set the rest of her face with the matte mineralized skin finish in dark deep <clears throat> and I'm just using that to brush away the uh, under eye powder and to make everything look a little bit more natural. Alright, I then grabbed my MAC blush in the color Raisin just to give her a little bit of rosiness on her cheek. Her face was looking a little bit flat, so I just wanted to bring some color back with blush. So I went ahead and I put this on her jaw, on her cheekbones, I should say. Alright, and this is my J Cat uh, baked highlighter, and I just use this to put some highlight down on her high points such as her jaw bones, on her forehead, the bridge of her nose, her chin and her cupid skull. So I went in here with the Ben 9 Media Pro palette to just warm up her skin a little bit. I'm using that dark color to bronze slash contour her skin. Now it's not too dark as you can see, it just gave a nice um, slight contour to her face. So I went back with the, Juvi the Warrior by Juvia's Place palette and uh, finished up her eyes. I went in with that lighter brown first. And then I went in with the darker brown just to smoke out her lash line just a little bit. All 
right I then uh, pulled out my black eyeliner just to you know finish off the look make it look more polished and put together All right, so this is just a random mascara that I had in my kit. I just went in and I gave her lashes a couple coats with this mascara just to bring out her lashes a little bit, being that she wasn't wearing falsies. So I just uh, coated both her top and bottom lashes with some mascara. Guys, and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're, if you're enjoying this video. Please share it with your friends. Um, I would greatly appreciate it and I would love your comments and feedback. Alright, so then I grabbed um, a lip color here. Now this is a cashmere lip gloss from BH Cosmetics. I, again, do not remember the, 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 the name of this color. Um, it was just a nice nude uh, slightly pink color that I decided um, that I thought would look good on her so I just went ahead and uh, put some of that on her lips and then I go over it with a lip liner to uh, blend it in a little bit more and not make it look so uh, ashy for lack of a better word on her All right, this is I just took um, a real techniques brush and just padded that in this is a somewhat matte color and I just wanted to make sure that it was evenly uh, distributed on the lips and I went in with a NYX lip liner here NYX brown lip liner all right so at this point we were all done I just went ahead and I set her face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And we're all done. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, for tuning in. Stay tuned for the next video. Like, comment, share and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified the next time I upload. See you in the next video guys. Bye.